Is this thing even on? It's on. It's part four of my ultimate 4x4 video series where I take the already awesome Yamaha Grizzly and I turn it into my ultimate 4x4 ATV. This episode is going to cover the tires and wheels and at the end there's some noteworthy stuff that you might want to check out. Okay, I'll start off with the tires. I went with the Kenda Bearclaw HTR radials. These are the 25 inch, but they also make them in 26, 27, and 28. This size ends up being the exact size as the OEM Maxxis tire, which is actually a pretty good tire, I will admit. But these Kendas, they, I've had them for a couple months and put them through the test, as you'll see in this video. And these exceed the stock tires in every situation possible. Okay, as for the wheels, Anytime you can shelf a set of stock wheels and replace them with aftermarket beadlock wheels that you're bolting the tire to the wheel, go for it. That's what I did here. These are probably one of, if not the strongest and best made wheels in the industry. And that's the Kaiser 4x4 ATV racing wheels. Okay, my goal from day one on this machine was handling and performance. Um, I, I know there's better looking setups out there. I went with the 12-inch wheel, and I know a lot of you probably are clicking out right now because it's a 12-inch. You want the big 14s. You want the monster truck look look where you've got, you know, 31-inch tires and 14-inch wheels and a lift kit and all that. But like I say, from day one, my plan on this machine was to make it handle and perform the best it could. And that's what I did here. I went with actually four, uh, four front tires. And I know that's weird, you got front tires on the rear, but bear with me here. Um, it it's, ends up being one of the best handling uh, ATV, 4x4 ATVs I've ever ridden. That's this Grizzly, and I've ridden them all. <laughs> it's that good. Tell the truth, I've always been a fan of Hyper Wheels. Uh, they make really good wheels. They're lightweight, carbon fiber. Um, I won a national, I won a UTV national championship on a set of Hyper Wheels and fell in love with them because Man, I, I beat them up. With GNCC, UTV racing was hardcore, and those wheels took everything I could give it. And they're light and uh, less rotating mass, so I figured that's what I need for this Grizzly. So I hunted everywhere because they don't make them anymore. They don't, surely don't make the 12-inch. And then I found out that Hyper no longer even makes carbon fiber wheels altogether. So they're really going through some huge changes. So I was hunted the used market down, and uh, couldn't find a hyper wheel used anywhere. Couldn't find four hyper wheels. I think I found two. Uh, almost pulled the trigger on those, but I didn't do it. I, I wanted four or none. After giving up on the hyper idea, I did a bunch of research online trying to find the ultimate wheels and uh, talked to some knowledgeable people in the industry. Uh, Tim Farr comes to mind, uh, Rick Chaco. Uh, they know what they're talking about, so I picked their brains a little bit and came up with the, the what what I think is the best wheel money can buy, and that's the Kaiser 4x4 ATV racing wheels. Unlike most wheel manufacturers, Kaiser will custom build your wheel, any offset, and they'll even make the unpopular 12-inch size that I wanted. And these are top shelf stuff. They're made from 6061 aircraft quality T6 American-made forged billet aluminum, not the knockoff stuff you can get on eBay that you're if you want to save some money yeah you go to eBay and buy a set of wheels <laughs> good luck these are made right from the beginning and yeah they're a little more money that's for sure but you get what you pay for uh, they have a double wall outer rolled lip and there's a these are a three-piece system so if you bend something you can replace just that one section you're not ruining the whole wheel but I, I don't think I'm gonna bend anything on these anyway but Kind of nice to know that they are three pieces and you can switch out the parts if needed. I added Kaiser's gloss black wheel covers to my setup. I don't like covering up the Kaiser wheels. They look great, but um, you're, you're, you're actually you're shoveling, packing dirt into your wheel, especially when you're down in those uh, train track type ruts. And it's, it's, it's literally like a shovel. Every time you scoop down there, you're, you're shoving dirt in, adding more weight, uh, cr cramming up dirt up into your brake assembly. So I think this setup is, is definitely needed. I'll admit it doesn't look as good as the sharp wheels, but had to be done. Okay, if you're with me on performance and handling over monster truckish looks, then you're probably wanna listen to my exact setup here. 
I went with the same setup as Yamaha. It already handles superb right the way it comes, so that's what I went with here. Just tell Kaiser you want the fronts to be exactly the same as stock, which is a 12 by 6 wheel with a 5-1 offset. For the rear, since we're going with four alike tires, and my spare is also alike, so if, any, if I ever had a problem, I can just bolt the tire on. The stock tire is wider. The stock setup is a 12 by 7 and a half inch wheel because they have a wider setup in the back. Remember, your stock wheels are wider. My setup is four alike tires, so I still, I'm going to have a 12 by 6 wheel. You'll tell Kaiser 12 by 6, but your offset is going to be different. Your rear, you'll want to go with a, uh, a wheel that is a 4-2 offset. And of course, you'll tell them you want Yamaha's 4 on 110 bolt pattern. There's, and there's a few reasons I, I like this front tires on all corners, if you want to call it that. They're all the same. I have a spare that's the same. If there is ever a problem, I can put that tire on any corner. I don't have a big fat rear tire on my front because I had to have that because I was out in the middle of nowhere or something. These are the same all around. Uh, for racing, those typical train track ruts, you know them. If you're a racer or you've been riding where a lot of other people have been riding, there's those train track ruts. If your tires are big and wide, you'll more likely to fall into those ruts and not be able to come out of them. You're like, you're steering where they've been and that's the way it is. With a little bit narrower setup, you can kind of weasel your way out of that rut and drive, and drive make your own trail. You know what I mean? You're not destined to follow the same path that everybody else has gone where you're spinning tires and you're, you're, you're in that rut. With this setup, you can find your way out of that rut and um, it does help a lot. And since they don't roll, they actually work great. I know it sounds weird, the skinnier tires in the rear, you'd think they would roll, but not the Kendas. They don't roll over, and uh, it's, it's a great setup. I think you, I know it looks a little weird having four front tires, but you gotta quit calling them front tires. We have four alike tires, and it handles way better. Okay, back to the rubber details. So Kenda names their tire the Bear Claw. Of course we're gonna set up our Grizzly with, a, with a four Bear Claws on each corner. How barbaric to declaw your grizzly, right? No, I'm just playing. I could care less what Kenda names their tire. All I know is how it performs, and that's why I, I went with these Kendas. The name had nothing to do with it, but you gotta admit it is pretty appropriate for your grizzly, right? So yeah, the name is cool, but it's really not the reason I chose these Kenda bear claws. It's uh, the HTR part. That's hard terrain radial, and these are eight ply tires. It's kind of hard to puncture an eight ply tire. And best part, they don't roll. These, uh, they don't roll over when you're cornering, especially hard, extreme cornering. You're not getting that, that horrible roll. Another thing I like about the bear claws is this center knob right here. That's, uh, it, it provides a smooth, uh, vibration free ride, but somehow these babies get traction in any, any terrain, including deep mud. Uh, but from what I've seen, this is by far the best all around tire. Uh, you can get for a 4x4 four four. Uh, and, and there's better ones for mud situations but how often are you riding mud uh, unless you're an extreme mud rider and that's what you bought your Grizzly for or your 4x4 four four ATV for you, you just want to ride in the mud then yeah I, I guess go set up, buy a set of mud tires but you're not gonna be happy with those things in anything other than mud I wanted to get the lowdown from a 4x4 Pro GNCC guy. So check out this conversation I had with Jordan Phillips. He really helped convince me that I was spot on with my tire and wheel setup. Yeah, these are the Bear Claw HTR, so they're radial, eight ply. They are all 425, eight by 12. It just drastically improves the handling, especially cornering. Uh, it also helps the rear suspension. It doesn't uh, want to kick, kick up as much. So yeah, it just it, overall it's a win-win. Easier to, we can reverse the tires, we can rotate the tires, and because obviously the backs wear quicker, so we can rotate them that way. But I chose Kenda because the this tire in particular turns really good, the straight line traction is excellent, they wear good, they ride smooth, you know, we don't have to worry about getting punctures. We're still running a run flat system, just to be safe, and the design of the tread pattern is perfect, because you got the, you can ride that on the center, you know, you got the center tread so you, it's smooth on the 
on the hard pack and then when it's muddy you've got plenty of clean out so it just slings the mud right out and you've got great traction uh, these we don't really they don't really wear that bad so these were new before we started those i've ran those for three races and one test session so you can see they haven't wore at all <laughs> so it's really impressive how good they wear uh, so we're running today i ran nine in the front and the rear nine pounds Dry day. That's a dry day. Some, sometimes we'll go up on up to 10, but uh, I wanted a little bit more give today because I knew it was going to be so hard. Uh, yeah, on a wet day, we'll do anywhere from 7 to 8. It just depends on what I think the conditions are going to be like. That's a pretty high number on tire pressure, so we don't want them to roll over when we're cornering. It prevents the rollover on the front. Uh, we're running the Kaiser wheels. They're basically three-quarter offset to keep it factory width, so it's around 48 inches wide. The wheels are five inches wide and the offset is three-quarters of an inch, so that it keeps it just like it was from the factory. Kaiser is pretty much the only one that went all in on wheel setups for these new generation can -Ams, so it's, uh, you know, we have to have them. Right now, this is the only setup I would run. Besides a few trail riding outings that I went on, I've raced this setup and uh, did it a, a couple of uh, the most extremely different types of races. The first was a CRA race in Salem, Ohio. So this thing was a three hour hair scramble team race and I teamed up with my good friend George Davis who wrenched his back on the first lap trying to pick up his, his 450 Honda out of a mud hole. Um, so anyway, so I, I was left to race the whole thing on my own and it, 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 was, it couldn't have been better for me. I got more seat time and it's just a blast riding this thing. Uh, it's, it's such a Cadillac. The power steering, everything about it is no problem. Three hours, not a problem. And uh, it, was, it was a great day. We had uh, uh, a, a lot of fun and the, just impressed. So impressed with, with how well it handled. And uh, anyway, his loss. I, I got to ride all three hours. But I will say uh, he did heal his back in time. And he went out and, and scored a uh, third, I believe, at the plus 40 class at the Pine Lake ATV National. So it all worked out great. He wasn't hurt for a long time. And I got to have a blast on my Grizzly. Got to really test out the tires. They're spot on. I also raced the E-Rock race. That's the Eastern Racing Off-Road Championship Series. They do a really good job. E-RockRacing.com if you're interested. Outstanding series. There was uh, five of us in my class, I believe. It was a four by four class. I finished second, um, and that's with a broken axle. On the last lap, I landed off a jump, and I think it was kind of my fault. I was on the gas a little too hard. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't, while you're landing, you shouldn't be on the gas with an independent rear suspension machine. It's just more torque, more um, stress that you're putting into that rear, and I did broke broken axle. So I rode around for the last half a lap in three-wheel drive. but. The, the machine was set up perfect again. I couldn't have been more happy with the tire and wheel combo. Traction galore, uh, no roll in the turns as you can see in some of this footage we have here. I've, uh, I'm able to ride this thing like a sport quad. It handles so well that you can dive into the corners faster, more confident that you're not going to roll, there's no tippy feeling. I really, sometimes I feel like I'm on a sport 4x4 with this Grizzly. So the other race I signed up for was the uh, Pine Lake TT National. <laughs> Crazy as it sounds, I, yeah, I actually signed up my utility quad and raced the TT National with it. So I, I'm probably the only person that's ever done that. I don't know if there's any record on that, but I figured, I was so impressed with how it handles to begin with. Then you, you bolt on these, these uh, Kenda Bear Claws there's no tire roll, and, and, and I just feel confident going through the turns. I, I felt like I could run with the guy, so we did it. And um, it was a great weekend, because for one, I won. This is my, my three-wheelers. They have a vintage class at uh, Pine Lake, and it's called the Stock is Shit class. It's outstanding. In fact, click over here, and uh, you can see some footage that I, I did a video on, the, on this class fell in love with the class it's another subject but anyway I, I won on that class and then I went and raced this and uh, it just was neat something different the uh, flaggers were, were like um, cracking up because <laughs> I don't think they've ever seen a 4x4 utility quad out there on a racing with the other guys but hey I finished mid-pack 
So pretty cool. I think I might have been last, but I wasn't, right in the middle. I uh, could have done better, I believe. I know what I should have done. I should have backed it off, and um, while he ran by the starter, I should have just dripped, been a little bit back further. This Grizzly doesn't come out as strong as the 450s, and should have spooled it up more, where I was already in the, the meat of the power band when the green light went and instead of just coming out of nothing. So the start hurt me, uh, and those 450s are quick. I think the straight stretch kind of hurt me too. The 450s are really fast, so I think what I really needed is some rain. You know, click it into four-wheel drive and, and uh, just, just drive it around in the mud. <laughs> I probably would have won the race. It, the Grizzly always seems to do better than most think it can, if you follow me. And that I, I wish I had footage of some of the flaggers as I was going by them. But you can see here in some of the GoPro shots, they're nodding and, and digging it. It's just because they, they got a kick out of how well it handles. It's a utility quad, but it handles so darn well, you could, be, you could call it a sport 4x4. And that's what we did uh, at the, the TT here. It, it always tackles whatever I give it, including hard pack blue groove TT terrain. Okay, I'm gonna, I need to wrap this up. Don't miss the next episode. I'm gonna talk with Tristan Dietrich, who raced a Grizzly twice at the Baja 1000. So he's got a lot of great tips and tricks. Some of them I'm using on this machine. I'll go down to Casey Greek's Impact Solutions, where Casey's gonna custom build a set of Elka Stage 5s for the rear. I've already got the fronts, Elkas for the front, and I will already, I'll tell you right up, they're outstanding. The front suspension is, you don't realize how bad the back is when you got, when you're riding stocks in the rear and elk is in the front. Is this thing, you can pound into square edge bumps and it just soaks everything up so nice. But I'll go into that more on the next episode. Also in the next episode, I'll talk with XC1 GNCC Pro Bryson Neal. If you've been following my Ultimate 4x4 video series, you know that I'm planning on riding this machine from North Carolina all the way to Oregon on the Trans-American Trail. That's still a go, but uh, didn't happen this year, 2021. Uh, shut down, shortages, gas prices, uh, mass inflation. Uh, you know, living in Biden's new America is not easy, so uh, that's on hold for now, uh, but it is on the bucket list for 2022 and I'm still planning on doing it. I'm still dialing in this machine. Sometimes it takes longer than you think, but step by step, I'm getting closer and closer. Also, I, I wanted an RV for this trip. Uh, I kind of need a chase truck. For one, I wanted to bring my mom along, and she wants to come, and it's an incredible experience to go across the United States like that. So definitely wanted to do that and not spend a fortune on the wrong RV. It's just a bad time to buy an RV, so. I figured I'd wait and I just got a hunch that there's gonna be really good deals coming up with inflation and when they stop the stimulus stuff where people are paid not to go to work, <laughs> I think they're gonna start selling their toys and I might be able to pick up an RV at a cheaper cost. So that's kind of where I'm at too. But it is on the bucket list for 2022. I'm planning on doing it still and if you'd like to come with me, maybe, uh, you got an idea that I'm not thinking of, hit me up. Um, it's open to anybody that wants to come along. It's, it's not for anybody though. <laughs> it's just, it takes a big commitment to go for an entire month across the United States. But I want to do it and uh, it's still in the works. Okay, uh, go out there, have fun, um, and keep the Kenda and Kaiser side down. Be safe.